Hi, in this video I discuss the role of nominals in the Universal Dependencies Framework. As discussed in the previous video, nominals are a phrasal unit built around nouns. To start exploring nominals in Universal Dependencies, we'll begin by importing the Spacey stanza and Spacey stanza libraries. If I run this cell to import the libraries, Spacey will warn me because I don't have a graphics processing unit on my computer, but you can safely ignore this warning. We then call the load pipeline function from the Spacey stanza library and provide two arguments, name and processors. We provide the string en to the name argument, which means that we load a language model for English, whereas the processor's argument takes a string as input, which defines the component of the natural language processing pipeline that we want to load. If I run this cell, Stanza will produce some output, which simply reports that all of the components that we requested to be loaded were loaded successfully. If we then call the variable NLP to examine the output, what we get back is a Stanza language model wrapped into a spacey language object. Because we want to visualize the syntactic dependencies, next we import the displacey submodule from spacey. We then feed a string with the words a large green bird to the language model under the variable NLP and store the output under the variable nominal. This gives us a spacey doc object that we can feed to the render function from displacey, to which we also provide the argument style with the value dep, which stands for syntactic dependencies. This gives us a visualization of the syntactic dependencies among the tokens in the doc object. As you can see, three arrows or arcs lead out from the noun bird. This means that the noun bird acts as the head of the syntactic structure. The arcs in turn point towards the dependence of this head. In this case, we have a determiner A and two adjectival modifiers, large and green. Let's examine the syntactic dependencies by looping over the token objects in the doc object under the variable nominal. If we print out each token and its syntactic dependency, which is stored under the attribute DEP underscore, we can see that the noun bird has the dependency root. The dependency root marks the head of the nominal. If this nominal were a part of a larger syntactic structure, any incoming dependencies or arcs would be pointing towards this head. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions about nominals, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.